right? Guess it's happening. All right. What's this clap? Now you guys are. <laughs> now you guys are screaming me up. <laughs> uh, hi everybody. Uh, I have Clem here, a software engineer in the Bay Area, and I have uh, Nat here, a product designer in the Bay Area. And so, if for those that don't know me, my name is Danny. Welcome to my channel, and uh, I'm a product manager. And in this channel, we talk about uh, anything really. Um, but we're just happy to be tech bros. And we're petting a dog. Yeah. Nothing else inappropriate. <laughs> so yeah. The yeah. we'll cut that out. <coughs> the yeah. There you go. I don't, I don't like how you classify as tech bros right away. Bros. <laughs> 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 yeah. right. We'll see how we can cut that out. We're, <laughs> we're cutting out the whole video. Right. Okay. Slash. Okay. Anyways, uh, so yeah. Uh, how's everyone? How's everyone doing? What's new with everybody? Clem, you you can start. You can start. Well, for one, I think it's almost been a year of us all working remotely now. And you know, it's been, it's had its highs, has its lows. At first, I was like super excited that, you know, wow, freedom, I don't need to go to work anymore and I can work from home. But you know, after a while, I was like, wow, I'm really craving all this life I had before. So, you know, it has its highs and its lows. Yeah, I think we, was it, it's been probably a year since we hung out. This is like the first time in a year, right? Yeah. You pretty much went missing to me and I probably died to you. Yeah, like, dude, I had no idea where you were in the world. Like, I was like, oh, is yeah, Matt yeah. alive? Is he <laughs> I'm trying messaging you. <laughs> I yeah, you replied. I'm like, <laughs> I might have ignored it. It's fine. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, I think for me, I've actually been so I like kind of left SF. Just get out. Says like a lot of people. Like 99 percent of the people. Yeah, I did the basic California thing and went to Texas, went to Austin, so mm -hmm. that whole thing. But uh, no, it was really good. I went down like go hang out with family, uh, see some friends and stuff, and then on top of that. I think just Texas had like a better overall atmosphere in terms of like freedom of going out. Like mm -hmm. everyone's still wearing masks and stuff, but they're a little bit less paranoid compared mm -hmm. to the Bay Area, at least uh -huh. as far as I know. Um, but yeah, things are just like more relaxed. So it was great uh -huh. being there with family and all that. Um, I'm I'm here currently back in SF, uh -huh. mostly to kind of sell off my things. And if you guys want to buy anything, let me know uh -huh. for you. Um, but yeah, before I like ship the rest of the and I'll, and I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll be I'll, I'll be the be the broker. Right. <laughs> but yeah, so just uh yeah, just trying to get rid of some stuff and gonna probably spend the rest of uh, 2021 down in Texas. Oh wow! So I guess similar story on my side. Um, it, back back in November, I decided to go back home to Toronto to stay with my family. Um, nice. And I guess I was only able to stay for two months, but it was good enough to stay for you know the holidays and just spend a lot of time with them. But the funny thing is, right when I flew back to Canada, I first of all I quarantined for two weeks. But right when my my quarantine ended, mm -hmm. like Ontario, my province went on lockdown. Oh so yeah, everything yeah, yeah, yeah. closed, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm staying at home quite a bit longer, and I just kind of <laughs> <laughs> didn't have anything to do for like two months. Um, so it's kind of funny. And just as I was, I was about to leave to like come back to San Francisco, uh, things were starting to open up again. But anyways, nice. so I flew back here, and everything was closed here as well. And I was just like, wow. These past few months, I'm just I'm just spending time indoors. Like it's it's insane how um, yeah like I was so I was in a way pretty happy when like it's like not happy that like the happy but like it's like the light out of, out of the, like it's like a little bit of a light uh, out of the darkness is that we get to work at home and I'm like oh I get to work at home chill at home I don't have to wake up and do the commute yeah. a, com a commute wasn't bad anyways but it's like it's SF so it's like like it's like it's always a it's uh -huh. an interesting it's not commute great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like it's not the best, uh, but like, but now it's like, yeah, I, 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 I kind of miss going into the office um, and like actually like, yeah, get, like, like trying hanging to out get, friends, hanging out with know, friends, just, yeah, like, yeah, bonding with your uh, coworkers and stuff. Yeah, I, th I think I missed a lot of it. Mm -hmm. um, definitely would like to. I don't know. I would like to go back in the office, mm -hmm. but not like. But not force everyone to have to. I think hundred percent no. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's like good. Like people have their own time, and if they can work from home, they work from home. Mm -hmm. Give people the freedom because I think this year, uh, this past year, it's kind of shown that everyone can still get the work done. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. We don't have to be at the office uh, per se. Um, I would say it's more optional to uh, just build better relationships with your coworkers mm -hmm. and uh, just overall just build better uh, better teams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, uh, like, for the company that we're at, um, th we we actually really 
from from like kind of the execs like we never really like thought about remote work as like so so intensely um but yeah i agree 100 percent that whoever wants to go to go to office and you know when it's safe and etc um like i think that's like a good like way to approach it um like i i think i i miss going in and being able to like well, one free food. Like free food. Oh, was, true, free food was like true. one thing that I, I didn't. Like, I didn't. I had a budget. Bless you. I didn't have. Like, what did that in? <laughs> I, I don't want to want to edit this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a budget. I, I had a budget on like food and stuff, and 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 uh, and a big. And it was so. The budget was so like relatively small. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because I could like oh it was like the, like our office provided food, and now it's like ah, damn it, like I miss going able to go. It's like going to convenience store. And yeah. like when when you're hungry and just like picking up whatever you want, but now it's like you have to go to like Costco and also you have to and like stuff and buy. It. Learn to cook now, right? Yeah. Essentially, you got to learn to cook. Um, actually, speaking of learning, speaking to cook. of cooking, this guy has been cooking a crap ton. Is that allowed? All right, a crap, lot. A lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm not being paid by YouTube. Like, they so, monetize me. Yeah. They monetize my demonetization. But this guy has been cooking a lot. His food looks pretty great. I've yeah. been like salivating every time I look at his Instagram, even though I don't message him. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, you should check him out. It's a uh, Professor Pan on Instagram. Come through, come through. Danny has been reaping a lot of benefits. Tell us what you think about my food, actually. So, uh, so Clem has very uh, so Clem and I are roommates uh, for context, and uh, and he loves he loves a cookie. He also like loves to he he buy he buys pretty expensive uh, groceries, <laughs> and I I'm telling him like yo like you know. Uh, and if you guys have roommates, if you folks have roommates, then mm -hmm. then you will, you would know. Uh, uh, like yeah, if you, I mean, we share food too. So like, we buy we buy groceries, we cook together, we eat together. We're in a full. Wait wait wait, wait 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 We don't cook together. Oh no, sorry sorry. <laughs> we, Clement we, cooks. Danny eats. I eat, but like that's actually that's a big part there. of the job, right? It's like it's like <laughs> that's a big part. If you cook and no one eats it, it's just a waste of food. <laughs> I mean, well, some people share food, but. It's fine. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, and then and then, and then uh, so we have like we've so far we've kind of like in the beginning like when we used to live with each other uh, 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 in early in the earlier days, like whoever cooks the person will clean. So now like now we've kind of developed like everyone stick to the rules. We optimize the rules where <laughs> where where Clem cooks and I would just like put everything in the dishwasher. <laughs> it's but, pretty yeah, great. It's, it's really good. <laughs> it's pretty great. So it makes me able to just focus on the cooking. I'm like okay. Mm. Whatever, like you know, if I need to use ten thousand pots for this one meal, I know that I, I, I can't take care of it. I, I, can't, I can't complain. And he like he he would like use a use a pot to boil something, and like rather than just like rinsing it and then like use it again, he'd be like, no <laughs> pot. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but like, but overall, like I, I like like Clem, like yeah, he he experiments, and I think like that's a that's one of those things that are that's pretty good in remote uh in like now in remote work uh -huh. that like you get to actually work on things that like life things that you never really actually got to got to work on yeah. uh uh when, when like you had to like always commute go to the office come back at like like six seven o'clock uh -huh. or, or or if you're at keener like 12 o'clock um and and like now you can stay home <laughs> like you can make your place look really pretty good you look pretty good uh and I don't know, I, I, I kind of like, I think the, the cool thing about remote work is that it makes you focus on life essentials. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's true. Um, but yeah, but like with remote work, like, obviously I think you're picking up back on like YouTube stuff, right? Yeah, like, well, this is the first video that, that, um, that we're doing on this, on this channel. Um, I, I had like the, like, I, I still have the, the tech reviews channel that's going on, uh, cause I was pretty bored. Uh, <laughs> which, which has, and then, and then now Theo, my dog, also has a YouTube channel. Way more popular than this guy. Yeah, honestly, like his YouTube channel's been popping off. Like he, he's getting ten subscribers per day. We'll put in the subscription or the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you if you want a cute golden doodle, uh, uh, a dose of cute golden doodle, uh, doodle videos, um, subscribe to I'm Theo Bear. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, and then um, I think for myself, uh, you know, seeing his videos and stuff like that, and like some other friends, uh, I feel like with work from home, I've got like more time to. Explore different ideas. So mm -hmm. lately, I've actually been re researching kind of like stuff how to like start YouTube channels and mm -hmm. like from video, sound, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's kind of nice because I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Actually, it's not just like oh here's a here's an extra thing to make some side side money, but I actually think mm -hmm. uh, when I start, hopefully next month, uh -huh. um, it'll be something that I can really like grow in, uh, mm -hmm. kind of grow an expertise in, and hopefully master. Yeah, but. I don't know. We'll see. I, 
my, my, uh, as you can see, the way I speak is not very great. I need to work on my but dude, voice. Cheers. Best of luck to you. Cheers. Thank you. This is, uh, not wine. Just drink. Okay. <laughs> And then and that's actually pretty interesting that you that you say that. I think now that people like people are home and they have like more time essentially at home and more time yeah, for themselves exactly. to actually think about life and yeah. like think about what they want to do and interests. Like more people are starting like YouTube channels. More people are thinking about like doing side gigs. Like oh, like writing writing blog posts or uh -huh. or doing or or, or doing uh, um, kind of like. Things and then obviously like passive income is is a, is a big thing now. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, people wanted wanting to retire early. I think there's this like whole idea of like now you have more time. Like Shopify went, like Shopify stock I should have invested oh. way early. <laughs> whole um, GME craze. Oh, oh the GME craze. Like, the like, meme stocks like, are the meme stocks are obviously obviously uh, pretty pretty crazy. But like the idea like of like people are trying to like work on passive income, like let money work for you um, yeah. and and stuff like that is like. It's popping off. I think because of remote work and because people, a lot of them also, uh, I'm, I'm sure parts of them are, are, are like trying to figure out, they don't, they understand that jobs, um, they're kind of like employers, etc., cetera, are, are uh, dependent, uh, are, they're dependent on them and they want to kind of break out into freedom. Uh -huh. um, yeah. But that's interesting. Remote work has kind of, kind of like, let you peek, a, a peek behind the blinds now. It's like kind of like looking behind the curtain and going like, like, oh shoot, like, I have so much time. I get yeah. and I want to. I want to spend it a certain way, uh -huh. yeah. uh, and I want to like like do my own thing. Like, yeah, I think like it's helping people like explore different and like new ideas, but also mm -hmm. um, definitely huge benefit. Like it benefited me like crazy because I I work at DocuSign and our stock just kind of just like I'm, like four or five X or something. Like, yeah. since the time I got it, <laughs> but I think like uh, a bunch of my friends um, have also you know their stocks have gone up. I think. The whole COVID situation has kind of like mm -hmm. exposed and kind of shown how much we actually rely on like being digital and just kind of making that movement towards there uh -huh. as opposed to things that are in person and showing that, you know, a lot of work can get, can get done without being directly mm -hmm. uh, in person. Uh -huh. So help me a lot. Uh, I'll get you guys lunch someday. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But uh, yeah. It, it could be just today. So, <laughs> <laughs> so one thing is like, I know like a lot of people like during this time, like like, I know like it's a lot of people are also you know being more productive, finding their passions, and just starting to like invest a lot of their energy into like mm -hmm. their side gigs, right? So like for example, I'm writing more blog posts. You're investing in your YouTube channel, and you're investing in your YouTube channel as well, and doing some side gigs. But there's also this whole idea of you know people starting to burn out, feeling the fatigue of staying at home. So like maybe mm -hmm. what are some things that some strategies that you all kind of use to like lift yourselves up and motivate you from day to day? Um. I think for me to like kind of get away from like burning out, mm -hmm. honestly the looking into like YouTube and making that channel, like it's mm -hmm. like a different outlet. It's new. Um, I think that's been really great. Um, I would also say just going out exercising a lot more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it really gives you, I don't know. It, I feel like because I was working so much in office all the time, uh -huh. I neglected going out or going to exercise, mm -hmm. play basketball, this and that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, now that COVID hit, I'm going out with like my family, some friends, go play ball, go running, climbing, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's been like really good, just like relax, mm -hmm. and so I'm not always focused on work. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's that's for me. I'm not sure about I, you. Like I think for me, I, I, like burning out. Uh, and well, like being just burning out, or like just essentially like uh, it comes down to for me at least. Like if you're, especially if you're in the Bay Area, if you're like in Canada, like back in our hometown, or or or. Um, not we're Canadian he's not Canadian yeah. uh, but like in a way like um, like if you're in a place that like you know, real, real estate is pretty expensive and stuff and uh, we each we have like we're in a two bedroom two bathroom uh, apartment and so we don't really have another room or another like few rooms mm -hmm. like a lot of a lot of people that are watching this video might have uh -huh. that way you can make like you build your own home office and you can in a way yeah. separate like your bedroom and, and, and your office and uh -huh. like work in like in a way there's like a physical work and life separation uh, but like I have my I'm literally like 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 many of you probably also it's like my my office now my makeshift office um, is is right in my bedroom and and so it's so hard to detach yourself I think especially for me in the beginning detach yourself from work uh, so it's like I, I wake I literally get off the bed and then like 
and, and like I literally just transition right onto my on my seat. Now on my computer, right? And then and then literally once I'm done, I just like like turn like just roll my computer chair and just like jump right on like just jump right onto my bed. And then, and, I, and I'll keep doing that, right? Obviously, bathroom and every bathroom and everything and dinner uh-huh, and everything yeah. separately. Sure. But like but like as like kind of like that like as a visual mindset, like that's kind of like how how it's pretty uh uh like how like, your mind essentially can't separate work from life and I think yeah. now I what I do is that it feels more taxing right it's a lot more taxing it's actually a lot right? more because like you don't have the because like at the office you'd be like oh I had to go like yeah. go walk to the other uh, conference room or something exactly or, yeah. I was in the kitchen now it's like you're in bed your computer's right there yeah. <laughs> you don't have an excuse why you didn't show up so it's kind of like I guess and so even if you weren't hitting you up like that for like work and all that I feel like you just like, subconsciously have this mind where you have this duty where you have to be on yeah. you know on point just because people are relying on you you can't reach out to the other person they can't see where you are or anything so I think people are actually a little bit more proactive yeah no I, I it's so it's so true like 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 back like in our office we we had to like really like chase down off, like office space like yeah. meeting room space and yeah, so yeah. it was so li- uh, meeting room space was so limited uh-huh. and then and but now it's like you just book you literally just go on google calendar book a uh, 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 round of meeting and you're just yeah. like optimizing every like second every minute right. uh and you don't really have that like have that space and i would i would say like that would like running and chasing meeting rooms like i kind of miss that Right, mm-hmm. and then now it's like I'm at home. It's like like obviously right, like literally back to back meetings all day, yeah. uh, and especially like if if you're like in in this like in like a planning phase or like you're a PM or wherever. Like even like I feel like you have also you, uh, you, uh, both of you already, already have like a ton of meetings too. Yeah, uh, and it's like because it, we're just trying to optimize time, and then because like in the like in parallel optimizing time, and then you're trying to like do all like do everything, and it's like hard to separate. And then for yeah. what I'm doing now, it's like. I'm like I wake up, I do this, mm-hmm. and at like a certain time, I, I like, get off my work laptop, and I just like don't try not to open it, um, and try not to check my phone for notifications, etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, as much as I as much as I can, and I think and I think that's like the start, and I, and actually, what kind of, and it's hard now, especially like obviously still because uh, because of COVID, but uh, essentially what helped me is that I'll take Theo. Uh, and we'll go on like hikes and stuff, and mm-hmm. and and uh, to kind of get me out of the my office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. agreed. So. Yeah, Theo is definitely a great outlet for you know getting out some sunlight. Like for me, I think yeah. initially when I was like bombarded with work as well, I wasn't going out as much, and I think like I felt something akin to depression. I'm not really sure if it was depression or not, but it was like this weird feeling where I'm like, oh wow, like every day is very monotone, mundane, mm-hmm. mundane. Like yeah. I felt like kind of like a zombie or a robot. Yeah. That was how I kind of describe my life. So when I started like going up a little bit more, maybe to like run again, to walk the old, to you know now that things are open up a little bit more, just to you know I started even like going like doing some private reservations for playing badminton with a couple of like close circles. So this like has helped me. I, I don't know what it is, but it's like a physiological co change in the body or something. But I just feel a lot more happy and energetic, even though like before like maybe I can like you know sleep for eight hours and I'll still feel kind of tired throughout the day. But now yeah. maybe I sleep for six or seven hours and all of a sudden I'm like wow. I'm like waking up earlier than I would before, and I'm like I have all this energy in me to like do stuff. So mm-hmm. it's, it's it's interesting how much of a change just that just like getting sunlight and doing like you know what you love doing like changes, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it it's it's such an interesting like like thing that people don't necessarily think about. It's like oh you're at home, like what else can you complain about? And mm-hmm. and essentially we don't have like 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 we don't like we we have jobs. We have uh, uh, we have a, a path like you know it's it's uh, mm-hmm. uh, it's essentially like oh okay like it's like oh cool right but then the, we won't really think about the the mental health aspect of a lot of these things yeah um, I, I, but, I think yeah. like uh, I don't know this stuff has kind of like changed our way of thinking for a lot of things not mm-hmm. just like how we work but like where should we work yeah and because yeah, exactly. uh, now like people working from home people. I know, like, I work with some people go on, go to, like, trips, like, outside the country mm-hmm. or even, like, different states, like Hawaii, mm-hmm. uh, Nevada, Seattle, whatever, mm-hmm. be close to family and everything. Yeah. So it makes everyone now question, uh, where should I work? Should I, can I be remote somewhere else? Yeah. Um, can I, like, save, like, because we're in California, taxes, terrible, oh. like, yeah. horrible. Um on top of the fact that we pay like a ton of money compared to the rest of the U.S. Mm-hmm. in terms of, like rent, um, I think like I share I share a place with like four other roommates, uh-huh. <laughs> which our, is normal by the way. Our <laughs> monthly 
So for my room, whatever, or total, our our rent for the month is eight thousand, which sounds <laughs> insane. I feel like, yeah, this is way different than when I used to work in like Florida, like at, yeah. at a grocery store. I used to get paid like seven fifty an hour. Yeah, that was like a lot to me. But uh, now it's very different. So yeah, it's kind of insane. But people are thinking about. Mm-hmm. Where they should work, but also where should they live? Like, should I buy a home mm-hmm. uh, yeah. into, in a place with like zero state tax or something, or just a just a mm-hmm. general cheaper state than California? Like, mm-hmm. how much of the pros of living in like a nice area mm-hmm. versus like how much you have to pay in terms of a premium? Like, people are now weighing these options. Yeah, exactly. Let's 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 double tap on that actually. Like, double double tap, double click. Or whatever. <laughs> like, dive in. Dive in. <laughs> like, like it, it's so like I, I don't think like personally, I don't think I've ever thought like it's always been like a dream, right? Like I, I I'm sure a lot of um like mm-hmm. people kind of jumping into an industry or in the industry itself, like other parts of the world, like would look at Silicon Valley or uh, San Fran- in San Francisco in general, it's like I wanna move there, right? Mm-hmm. And essentially like, you know, that makes sense, right? Like, yeah. all the big companies are here, all the big movements are here, all the, like, that, what's happening in the world. Like, it's been great. Yeah, it's I mean, been it's, awesome, right? It's, yeah, it definitely has upside. So it makes sense. But then, like, I've never... And so coming from a small town, uh, uh, um, being in, 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 the univer- in the universe that really, like, pushed old, like pushed people, like, in here, like, like hey, like, this is the pinnacle, like, this yeah, is yeah. where you want to be. Right. And now we're here, I've never... I've in, in, like, For a few years now, like, I don't think I've ever wanted thought about moving back yeah, yeah like yeah. so much like moving back to canada being right. close to home uh and i'm like you know what's the like, kind of like the the, the 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 like the philosophical like the, a philosophical question of like like what is life like what is like like what should i like what should i be doing and and, and do i want to be close to family like do i want to be like you know is, is it worth being here like you know doing what we're doing mm-hmm. like all this like all these questions are like i've never thought so much about until mm-hmm. like until now, right? Like when yeah, I'm, yeah. when it's like now I'm in SF, like da da da. During COVID times, like oh, but I could be home with more room, more yeah. space, like I, where I could run with Theo, where I could do whatever, right? So yeah. I like, think that's, that's interesting. Yeah, I think the trade off for me is like, yeah, I can only speak for myself, but the reason why I would like kind of question whether I want to stay mm-hmm. a little bit longer, um, it depends on like how long COVID is going to be around and like these restrictions, like going to restaurants, any like events, because that was a huge reason why I moved to SF. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it was just like, exactly. a lot of people were going out, a lot of bars, a lot of like events happening, mm-hmm. parties, et cetera, uh-huh. um, all the big tech companies, just conferences, all that. Like those are great reasons for me to pay a, such a high premium to live here mm-hmm. because I can attend these things. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was great. But now that, you know, with all these restrictions, you have to, you know, you can't be in large groups, you can't go wild yeah. like that. I had to take two COVID tests just to see these two, because uh, they're little yeah. pansies. But, um, but yeah, but like, things you like tell that. Us. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So, you tell us whether that was appropriate. <laughs> right? I, I, I think that's Texas. <laughs> it's more chill over there. But I was going to say that just because of these restrictions, you can't enjoy what yeah. I think is the best part of California, which is like the nature aspect, going out for hikes. Yeah. You, just love, like, you can still go, but it kind of... It, it, it just, you have to be a lot more careful. It's a lot more of a... You have to be aware of like how many people are there, yeah, yeah. always having your masks on, and like those, like those are the right things to do, but it, it is just kind of inconvenient uh, for some people. Even like going to the gym, like how are you supposed to get a good workout in and you can't breathe? <laughs> so it doesn't really make sense. Uh, but those are like some of the reasons that has kind of pushed me to consider moving elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, like, um, to, like to the point of like, it is different, like, a really different now in a way that, like, a lot of our friends also, like, you know, like, like, I think you mentioned earlier, it's, like, moving, moving to, like, different states and, like, mm-hmm. like, they've always wanted to live in, like, Colorado or yeah, they always want to live in, countries, like, everything. Uh, like, Hawaii, yeah. exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and then it's, like, uh, um, with that said, like, also, you, like, going on hikes with friends was always, like, really fun. Like, yeah. uh, right. like, we're like, oh, like, we'll ping, like, our, our, our group of friends and be like, and we take, like, two cars out to, to like, uh, to a hike, or, like, um, and, and then we, like, go out and, like, go to a restaurant, eat, and then, and then that would be, like, a good, uh, a good Saturday. Mm-hmm. Right, I think. All right. And, like, a lot of friends are, uh, moving to, uh, moving to Colorado and Hawaii that they never really got a chance to move to, right? Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is, which is pretty, like, uh, which is pretty cool now that, like, they get to like quarantine and, and stay like kind of uh, uh, at, at a place and kind of have 
knowing that they're kind of living a micro, like a very small, like a, maybe a week or two weeks or a, or a month um, inside, like at a place that they've always kind of wanted to, to live at. And, it's a, and obviously it's a privilege to do that too. Yeah. Um, uh, we just chose to stay stay in the city and stay in SF uh, just because like I think uh, ultimately one I think it's harder to move with the dog and two yeah. uh, it's it's we already signed a lease and like financially it just makes sense to, to stay in the city uh, but a lot of people who like a lot of people cut their leases right a lot of people just like left as well mm -hmm. um, and just yeah. like dipped and was like like was like dip like like was like Goodbye SF, um, mm -hmm. which I, which probably uh, is going to be happening. It will probably happen more and more, more and more often. Yeah. But like ultimately, like, what else? Like, what else do you think changed? Like throughout the, like, with the with the whole remote working with whole COVID and and like, like you know, like shelter in place. Like, what do you think? Uh, um, like, hmm. what do you think? Like, kind of changing your life. Changing my life. I don't change in my life, but I can. Say a change in your life. Dating has been different. Ah, uh, <laughs> dating. So, one one thing is that you know, back in the day, I guess before before um the pandemic hit, I was like, wow, I've been single for a while now. Maybe it's time to spread my wings. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, spread my wings. And you know, like my parents have been bugging me. Like they've been like Clement. You know, we want to see mm -hmm. your kids before we pass on, right? They probably were like stop like, living with Danny. Like, like, <laughs> honest, like honestly, to the point, they're like, yo, Clem, like. I don't get back together with your ex. Like my mom called my ex and was like, "Yo, you know, like, yeah, she what might, do you think she, of she, she might watch this. <laughs> <laughs> she might watch this. <laughs> it's okay. It's all no, no, it's, it's okay. She's it's chill. Fine. Like she's chill. She, she's, she's chill. Cool. Like, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, yeah. But like that's like it's at this point. Like my parents are actually very worried about whether I'm going to get a girlfriend or not. Dude, you're lonely. And yeah, yeah. they're lonely. Um, like so. Anyways, scratch that. By the way, I mean. You can find me on Hinge if you're. <laughs> yeah, you can find come on Hinge or on Bloom. On... Or oh, Bloom. Hey, so so he's, with he's that romantic. said, side cut. So, well, yes. uh, uh, yeah, I think side is not not sponsored because it's well, it's my company. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, it's a pro it's a little project that uh, that I'm working on. Uh, like Clem, like like a lot of there's a lot of people like Clem uh, who are also like you know looking into the space uh, uh, of like you know dating and like going, going getting into that age. Uh, as well as like, you know, like Damn, that age, you gotta come old Dude, chill I'm older than uh, chill. But, uh, like, like a lot of people are kind of sick of like the whole um, uh, Kind of fast dating, casual dating, etc. Mm -hmm. And and so if you're ever interested in, you know, that's as much details I can I can give but uh, It's voice shine enabled, a very personal dating experience uh, um, It's called Bloom Go to www.lovebybloom.com, sign up, uh, we're about to... Man, what a plug. So, <laughs> what a plug. It's a plug on my own channel. This isn't a plug, but it's a plug on my own channel. It's still a plug. It's still a plug. But yeah, like, right. yeah. so yeah, dating, back to, back to your dating life, uh, Clement. But yeah, so since then, I was like, okay, so Clement, what, before the pandemic, I was like, alright, what do we gotta do? I gotta start swiping, I gotta start going out more, so like badminton, meet people, um, dance club, like dance club, uh, I don't know, went to some concerts, like, it's just... Yeah, you started like going to some raves and I, stuff. So. I was like... In raves, yeah. What happened to COVID restrictions? No, no, no this before, is before, 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 okay. Like, oh, if you like, did all this during COVID, oh, I would. Yeah. You know what? Cut <laughs> <laughs> this moment, you're right. I don't want to live with it yeah, anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, this is all in like 2019, uh, yeah, yeah, around yeah. like October, November. Life was normal. Got it. Yeah. yeah. So around that time, and then, you know, obviously like March 2020 hit us. And since then, I was, at first, I was very demotivated to even find anyone. I was like, okay, if we're all remote now, we can't meet anyone. No one will really care, right? So yeah, I just yeah. didn't really do much during that time. I was like just on standby for a couple of months. Then I realized that you know online dating is a pretty big thing. So I started you know fixing up my dating profiles again mm -hmm. and uh, started swiping. And what I realized was that compared to swiping before the pandemic started, there was a lot more like activity and interest mm -hmm. once the pandemic started. I guess maybe people were feeling more lonely or something. Yeah. But definitely like the responses were get were better. Um, for lack of better words, like. The quality of my matches were better. Maybe you just got better looking. I started working out. I guess that's, that's true. He he did lose he did lose a ton of weight. Uh, uh, under that sweater, it's just like rock solid, just chest and chisel. You're, 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 you're hyping me too much. <laughs> I, I've seen, I've seen. So so for people who are watching this, who uh, who see Clem on, on Hinge or on or on other dating apps, just know that yeah, it's all glamour muscles under there. No strength, but the glamour. Is <laughs> you know what? I learned I learned from the net. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been interesting. Like 
video dating was a uh, like you know at first yeah. it's super new. Um, you know you all get used to you know how do you make conversation on a video now? Like you know at, like generally when you first go into the, the Zoom call or the Hangouts call, like number one actually, where do you do the call, right? Yeah, yeah like true. Apparently, like some some of the girls I matched with didn't even know what Hangouts was. I thought that was a pretty normal thing, but I was like, hey, do you want to? Use Google Hangouts. And they live in the Bay, and they were like, "Yeah." Well, like a lot of people, I guess, like I guess Zoom when Zoom took over, like yeah, yeah. no one really like that cared about uh, video calls, uh, so everyone was like, "Just Zoom." Yeah, but, yeah, that's true. So actually, I didn't use Zoom. I wasn't a convert until convert until recently. So oh, yeah, I was still yeah. using Google Hangouts, and at our company, we use Google Meet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't have like Zoom or Zoom license or anything, and I was just like. Yeah, Google Hangouts makes sense to me. I don't have an iPhone either, so I don't have what's that thing called? FaceTime. FaceTime. Yeah. Please pretend you like you know technology. See that this is a good point. Like just because you're a software engineer in the Bay, it's still not valued the mecca so, of I am, the world. I think uh, sucks. Like you know, at at all, like um, every software engineer is hit with a path at some point in their life. <laughs> There's like a crossroad that you hit, right? In this crossroad, you choose: do you go with Android or do you go with iOS? <laughs> and I took this path. <laughs> And I, I, mean, I, recently, I, I recently took this path because, like, I was like, "There's everyone that is designing for for iOS. Like, if you're like, if you're the apps are better, or the apps are better visually, like yeah. animation stuff, like a lot better." And, and also, I've been feeling the frustration with Android recently. Like, <laughs> all so as as Danny mentioned earlier, like everyone's starting their own side gigs now. They're like, "Oh yeah, let's build this build this company." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're always like, "Yo, Clement, do you want to like beta test this for me? Clement, do you want like?" I just made like this new app for investing. Yeah, test flight, right? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, can you send me an app? Like, like can you send me an app? So like, nice. And they're like, yeah, it's only for iPhones, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be like, oh, um, I, I can't test it because I have an Android. I have a Pixel here. And this has been a reoccurring theme. Like, you know, what's it called? Clubhouse came out. Yeah, it was only and, iOS. And I was like, oh, wow, Elon Musk is talking. I, I, I'd be kind of interested, but oh, I can't. I can't. You can't, I can't access it. it, right? And then also, even like recently, um, for what? So Google released their new Google Pay, and I went to a grocery store, a Trader Joe's, to like mm-hmm. you know just cook for this man. And I well, bought not just me, like we cook for both of us. I bought a bunch <laughs> of groceries, went to the cashier, and all like I tried tapping my phone. I didn't even bring my credit card because I trust the technology. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, all my cards were erased from Google Pay. What? And like, I'm really frustrated with with Androids right now. Uh, hey, and, 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 yeah, and, and then uh, imagine like you're on a date and then you're trying to pay and then all of a sudden like the, the whole thing like your, your wallet is gone but the thing is like for me when we actually had a discussion right? I was like why don't you just keep some of your cards with you and then and then comes like well why would I keep it if I have it on my phone and I'm like you're really betting on technology here and he's like not bad logic though. yeah it was not bad logic but like I feel like yeah. even for me like I don't trust it that much but like come really trusted like Android really uh, like Android yeah. really let like let this one go yeah, yeah. so I'm and then she know. let him go but yeah I was like you can't pay for it <laughs> but it's awkward <laughs> but yeah I mean uh, overall, I feel like things are starting to open up again. Yeah, the yeah. world's starting to, you know, recover into a state where people are starting to accept coronavirus. Like, like thing, they're coming yeah. to terms yeah. with it. Um, the, people understand the risk a bit more. There's no mm-hmm. more like fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's like controlled fear, controlled uncertainty, right, controlled right, doubt. Right. right? Like right. they, people are able to more analyze the risk. And like even like a lot of dating apps, like for example Hinge, they have an option now for it. like you can add in. I learned it from Danny, by the way. Yeah, but you can put in what your meeting preferences are, right? Are you okay with a video call first? And then are you potentially open to meeting in real life with masks on or something? Like, people are starting to open up a little bit more again. Um, so it's interesting. Mm-hmm. See where yeah. things go from here. Like, it, it's so, like, it's so interesting that, like, everyone in this, like, essentially in North America, and I'm assuming, like, parts of parts of the world too, and other parts of the world too, it's like, Everyone took like this one year hiatus. Yeah, of, like, yeah, yeah. exactly. And and, uh, and this it's definitely going to be this one year hiatus is definitely going to books, right? It's like when when like when anything happens, like this is like and it's like we're living through the history and like <laughs> it's like it's so it's so interesting. And then now like everyone's gonna come out like slowly. Like I'm sure it's going to be like a, a slow progression. Uh, and then there people are gonna maybe like meet at a park, da da da, and yeah, yeah. And it's like. And, and like the the surge of dating apps, the surge of like people wanting to like see people, even like even like people who like, like love to stay at home. I, I heard like complaining about like oh damn I've been at home for too long, mm-hmm. um, 
And so, like, yeah, I, I think, like, dating is, like, one aspect to it. Like, kids uh-huh. in schools, oh, my, like, yeah, I can only imagine, a, like, a, a 10-year-old Danny uh-huh. being at home stuck all day. Uh-huh. Ooh, like, like I'll, feel for that, I'll feel bad for my parents. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I want to go, I want to go. And I've been staring at your screen all day as well. Like, we do that already, uh-huh. uh, but we were trained up to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. And, and we get paid for it uh-huh. uh, versus, like, if you're a kid, you're like, I got to, like, now, like, I, I, at least like, now I don't, I don't have to, like, like, if you're late to school, it'd be kind of interesting, because, like, <laughs> you're, like, literally in front of your, you're in your room. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Pause, pause, pause. Hold your positions. Hold your positions. I just want to lower the ISO. It was getting too bright. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's getting later. Yeah. All right. So, well, Continue. Well, with things opening up again, how do you feel in terms of, like, you know, do like, the topic of introverts and extroverts, right? Yeah. Is there one type of particular type of person that would like have an advantage, like now that things are opening up again, in terms of you know building relationships, in terms of you know getting acquainted with all their old friends again? Because you know, us as two introverts, mm-hmm. two extroverts here. Um, how do you feel like? How how do you how well equipped do you feel like as things are starting to open up? I I give my side a little bit after as an as an introvert. Actually, do you want to give your side first so we know what direction you're at in this, in this conversation? Because I feel like we could take this in multiple ways, right? Uh-huh. So. so one thing for me, like some context is that I believe I'm an intro- introvert. Um, it's a lot of energy for me to, you know, continuously reach out to friends and be like, how are you doing? Update me on your life. Um, mm-hmm. Even like after we been chatting, like following up with them, be like, mm-hmm. you know, things are going well. Like, yeah, yeah. That's why we haven't talked for like a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean... Two way street, so yeah. yeah. No no blame on the other side. So yeah. Um but like honestly it's like, a little bit tough and now like as things are open up, like I wonder am I, like I don't know like how to really like how to make of this, right? Like fortunately like I met up with you again today because you know Danny kind of brought us together and linked us, right? Yeah. But let's say like let's say for example a hypothetical scenario where Danny wasn't living with me, maybe like um Danny's like say like for whatever reason Danny and I are not friends, um but you two are friends, right? Mm-hmm. So Danny and Extrovert reaches out to you, and I'm just kind of in this isolated space where I won't have a link to like mm-hmm. right, reach right, out right. to you, right? Then how, do, how does an introvert maybe go around estab- reestablishing all their connections with people they've been with in the past on, et cetera? Like, that, maybe that's kind of where, along the lines of where my thought is going. Mm-hmm. Do, do we feel like- Damn, that fast? Oh, maybe the system's hot. Introvert, extrovert. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> I forget where I, where I was going with it. <laughs> Give me a second. You you were uh, so you're, where where should I start at? Like you were, you were asking me introvert extrovert how how to like build that bridge between like like, like kind of going yeah. back into normal life. You could start this whole segment over. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. I could cut I could cut this. It's fine. So so you know now that things are starting to open up again, mm-hmm. do, you, do we feel like there is a you know a gap in between like introverts and extroverts, like where I'm trying mm-hmm. to go with this is yeah. for an introvert, someone where it takes a lot of energy to be able to like reach out to, to like old friends, old connections, and you know reestablish a connection, right? Right. Um, whereas with an extrovert, you can very easily stay in touch with you know mm-hmm. so friends. So one example that I want to bring up is um, Nat here, right? Nat and I haven't spoken to, haven't spoken with each other for what like a year now. Yeah. And the only reason that we're just <laughs> Here chatting today is because Danny was kind of the link who brought us together, and Danny has to meet my roommate. So I'm like, oh, so that how's it going? <laughs> but now consider a hypothetical scenario where Danny and I are not rooming together, right? Let's say yeah. that um, you know Danny just invites Nat over to his place. That would mean like my link with Nat, like who knows when when the next time we speak is, right? Could be next year. It could be never. Like could be, could be, could be. But maybe. still friends. But still friends. But still friends. <laughs> but. It just means we don't get like this chance to like, you know reestablish our connection, and right, like, right. even though like we used to hang out so much, and mm-hmm. like, so I'm kind of wondering like you know do we feel that there is you know some advantage or disadvantages on whether uh, depending on whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, and you know if you are an introvert like how do we kind of what are some tips to you know recon- like you know help reach out with old connections and make a smooth transition back. Yeah, I think it's like, it's kind of dependent. There's like pros and cons of both. I think of like for an introvert, they probably like being like more secluded for the most part anyways. But yeah, it gets to that time where they're like, all right, this is a little too antisocial. So uh-huh. they kind of yeah. want that connection, but they're 
uh, not as willing to go and like reach out, say hi, like how's it going, etc. Uh -huh. As you mentioned, uh, but on the extrovert side, so I think the 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 big con is like they're used to talking to people and everything, mm -hmm. um, but at times they could be like better suited for COVID because they can go out, say hey, how's it going, um, mm -hmm. build better connections. But also that might even I would say, uh, like for me, I'm not a huge introvert or extrovert, but at times I could see myself like being a little bit more extrovert. I think with COVID, it's actually like made me like think like, man, I'm, I'm kind of lonely. I should like, reach out to people. So I've actually like reached out to like, uh, old friends and mm -hmm. just like some random coworkers, honestly, mm -hmm. just like ask them, Hey, what's up? How's it going? They're all thinking like, I have a question for them for work. And I'm like, no, I'm just seeing how's it going. Uh -huh. But, um, so I think like that's like an advantage. You actually build more connections in that way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not always a con. It, it's really dependent on the person what they decide to do with their personalities. Yeah, like I I, th I agree. Like it, it does take some level of effort, even if you're an introvert. Um, like I would say I'm in between as well, and just kind of like thinking about like like I guess for me it's like you, one one good way uh, for an introvert to, to like reach out is to like kind of like what you've been also doing is like kind of having a purpose of, uh, in reaching out, like, hey, like, hey, like, how are you doing? But also, like, do you want to play a game, right? Do you want to play, uh, 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 do you want to play League, or do you want to play Valorant, or whatever, and then you can socialize that way. Uh, and then, um, or, like, kind of have, even just sync, like, have, like, monthly syncs, or, like, like quarterly syncs, or, like, uh, quarterly syncs. But, like, like, have, like, have these like reoccurring things where where it's not like you reaching out to them or them reaching out to you it's actually like no we have a date we have a certain time and uh, and then like you know we make it like we make it a thing to like reach out um and so it's like i, I it's it's tough like i don't think i definitely want to downplay that but um like potentially just like setting up like certain events like on virtual events and stuff like is good and then when you get comfortable with each other when things are getting easier or like you know when, when time is right then like yeah potentially go to a park go on a hike etc um i love hikes i'm a big proponent of hi like uh, 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 of hikes like like you sh i think hikes are a good way of socializing but in a way in a social like in a safe manner mm -hmm. um so like be like hey like i'm going to hike uh, uh next weekend are you down uh, and then like you make your way there, have bring some, uh, bring your own lunch, bring your own like stuff, and, and being able to like just kind of chill and, and, and talk and catch up. And then you might be really tired afterwards as an introvert. Even as an extrovert, you'll be tired. Um, but you like it'll be like it gets you in a momentum. So like I think that's my that's my uh, two cents in there. But yeah. Anyways, I think this video is long enough. Uh, <laughs> so so uh, I, I know we're not the only ones thinking these things. I know like hopefully. Um, uh, you can relate or in some ways you can provide even some feedback uh, and, and or if you have anything to suggest or have any questions like feel free to let me know uh, let us know in the, in the comment section below um, but yeah like this is awesome thank, thank you guys for joining yeah thanks for having us thank Appreciate you for having it. us and you know for you viewers out there um, if you have any questions or topics that you want us to talk about next time we're 20s in the Bay Area and we would you know we would love to give our insights. So, <laughs> we're single. So. We, have, we have no one to talk. We have no one to, to talk to. So uh, this is perfect. Uh, <laughs> let us know. All right. All right. Cool. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. Wait. Okay. Wait. How do you how do you turn this on? Okay. Okay. Go. I click it.